The Biden administration's failure to secure our southern border has emboldened the criminal cartels, leading to increased drug trafficking, overdose deaths, human smuggling, and the influx of dangerous individuals into the country. These threats extend far beyond border states, affecting every corner of our nation. Every state is now a border state. The border is no longer a matter for debate. It's a pressing issue, and it demands immediate action. We are here with this bill because Donald Trump demanded that MAGA extremists make the border their top issue ahead of the election. He wants Republicans to politicize the border at every turn, including politicizing this awful tragedy. He's calling the shots here, and he wants to use this as an opportunity to say that Democrats somehow support killers. What a nasty, rotten thing to do, especially after Republicans are the ones who killed a bipartisan border security deal. They killed the deal the strongest, toughest border security bill that we have ever seen come before Congress, a bill that was negotiated by a very conservative Republican senator from Oklahoma. But rather than try to find a solution and fix the problem, Donald Trump said to them, no, I just want the issue. Do nothing. Do nothing. And now they have the nerve to come down here and lecture us. Give me a break. Madam Speaker, we are here today to debate a rule to bring two more MAGA messaging bills to the floor. H.R. 2799, which might as well be renamed the Expanding Access to Fraud Act, is yet another Republican attempt to help Wall Street and their friends at private equity firms while undermining protections for retirees and other mom and pop investors. Republicans are just obsessed with helping their friends on Wall Street. It's pathological. They can't help themselves. They come to the floor and talk about helping regular people, but every single bill they pass is about helping the big oil companies, the big pharma companies, the hedge funds, the lobbyists. And today is no exception. Today, Republicans are also bringing to the floor H.R. 7511, the Lake and Riley Act. Let me be clear. What happened to Lake and Riley is a terrible, terrible tragedy. A 22-year-old nursing student who everyone says was a deeply compassionate person who spread joy everywhere she went. Lakin had her whole life ahead of her. My own daughter is 22, and I can't even begin to imagine what this family is going through right now. My heart breaks for them, and they are in my prayers. This should have never happened. And there is no question that the person responsible for her death should go to jail for the rest of their lives. But Madam Speaker, I have to say that I am appalled by my colleagues across the aisle who are using this horrible crime to score political points. It's really sick, to be honest. And I, I think they ought to be ashamed of themselves if they have any shame left. The bill that we are dealing with here today was referred to the Judiciary Committee. There was no hearing, no markup. The bill wasn't even reported out of the Committee of Jurisdiction. I mean, my Republican friends used to say they cared about regular order. Obviously, that's no longer the case. I mean, the, the members of the Judiciary Committee did not even have an opportunity to be able to refine this bill or amend this bill. They just rushed it to the floor because they wanted a quick press release. Now, meanwhile, Democrats are working to actually keep our country safe. Democrats want to fix our broken immigration system. Democrats want justice for victims. And we want real solutions that help make our communities safer from all criminals. Again, we try to work together with Republicans in a bipartisan way. And they have rejected our attempts every single time. And by the way, Madam Speaker, I really wish our friends across the aisle would show this same passion for the lives lost to gun violence in our country every single day. 60 people died and over 400 people were injured in Las Vegas. They were all real people, mothers, fathers, children, friends. Where was the Republican outrage then? Silence. 19 kids were shot dead in their classroom in Uvalde. 
Nothing from my Republican colleagues. Nothing at all. No action at all. Twelve. Twelve children die every day from gun violence. Where's the Republican legislation to save their lives? I mean, and if you don't want to vote for that legislation, where's the Republican willingness to allow us to bring bills to the floor to deal with the epidemic of gun violence in this country? Nothing. You know, the beauty of our job is that we are in a position where we can actually do something about these tragedies, Lakens and others. We could have worked together here to address this tragedy, just like we should work together to address the tragedy of gun violence. And unfortunately, Republicans only talk about crime and violence when it suits them, and that's all it is, talk. To claim that this bill is being brought forward because Republicans care about securing the border when they tanked one of the toughest bipartisan border bills ever is a joke. It is a joke, Madam Speaker. And let's make something abundantly clear. This bill will do nothing to solve any of the problems at the border. Not a thing. You know what this bill does? It says, let's put more people in immigration detention, including those in the U.S. under a lawful status like DREAMers and TPS recipients. But let's not allocate any more money to actually detain these people. You gotta love these people, they're unbelievable. Our border security already does not have the resources they need to detain everyone the law says they should detain. And why don't they have the resources to do it? Because Republicans have voted time and time again, multiple times, multiple times against providing the funding that they need. And now the other side brings a bill to the floor not to fix a problem, but to detain even more people with no new funding to do it. You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. These bills they are bringing to, these bills they are bringing to the floor, these speeches that they are making about border and immigration, look at how they vote. Look at how they vote. They don't want to secure the border. They don't want to fix this issue. They want a campaign slogan for Donald Trump. That's all this is about. It's been their playbook since they took the majority last January, and it's a real shame. Again, we have the power to do something, to actually solve some of these problems. And rather than coming together in a, in a bipartisan way, and that's what the Senate tried to do, uh, my Republican friends in the House have rejected every single attempt to try to find common ground to bring something forward that can actually pass the House, the Senate, and be signed into law. They're not interested in solutions. They're interested in just complaining. How pathetic. With that, I reserve my time.